Learning is everywhere here in Lindau, but what do we learn from each other? Do the Nobel laureates also learn from us? How will this learning experience influence our scientific career in the future? Being an American student, I think it's, it's interesting to hear how different PhDs are conducted across um, different countries. It's a great opportunity, like meeting from people from South Africa, from uh, US, and I mean all the experience that they have. I like it a lot because they explain the way that they do research in their countries. What do you as a Nobel laureate learn from us, the young researchers? From the students? Yes. Well, you know, we try to learn as much as we can. <clears throat> we are like leeches trying to get all the knowledge from them. Those meetings are not for us, they are for them. So that's one of the pleasures of being coming here. You, you learn about what people are interested in, what are the concerns that, that people have. You also find out what their interests are. What do you learn from the Nobel laureates? They are all so open-minded and all um, re really friendly and it seems that they are researchers like us. So. It's not like they are some stars or something. They are really on the, yeah, you can really talk to them. They are sort of an ultimate source of wisdom and they have been over the past week, apart from the actual content that's been delivered over the course of the lectures. Um, I've sort of gotten an insight into what it means to be a scientist on a personal and professional level. Learning at Lindau doesn't stop with science. I met Hector, who is staying with a couple in their home. It's very special. Yesterday we were out with Hector in the Irish pub. And we met you and uh, it's Itzel. It was a pleasure to meet you. And we have so much fun yesterday. We laugh, we talk about so, so much things. Um, in English. <laughs> I learned quite a lot of things. It was really nice to, to stay with the family because um, you can really experience the, the city. And uh, basically, we just hang out. It was really easy going to people. So I really enjoyed the time just making chat with them, talking about different things, not only science. What does the learning at Lindau mean for the scientific development? Well, I think a lot. Really, you have I don't know, close to 600 students coming from many, many countries. I think that this is the, it can only be a very great help to them. I've been shown uh, some very, very high caliber critical thinking skills from uh, other young researchers and from the Nobel laureates. And so uh, as someone who's just at the very beginning of his research career, I think that's an invaluable experience. Science always progresses, in my opinion, because of people bringing new approaches and new ideas. We talk a lot about all sorts of barriers that, oh, funding is bad, or there's not as much interest or that. And what you need, I think, or what people need is just a, a, a bit of encouragement to say, no, that, ignore that. Go on and do what you're really excited about and what you have real talent to do. That spirit of courage and bravery to, to persist despite the problems and, and taking those risks because it seems to be despite the risks there's a huge benefit, which I feel is also probably a key highlight of being at this meeting. And not, It's not necessarily the emphasis of, oh, I won a Nobel Prize, but rather I contributed to the scientific field and, and I encourage you as young researchers to continue along that trail. Inspiration, new perspectives, critical thinking, those are some of the things the participants of the Lindau meeting learn from each other. Independent of scientific research and culture, we all learn something in Lindau.